What's going on, YouTube? How's it going? My name's Jim, and you've landed on the Jim of All Trades channel. Keeping it real as always. Uh, got a comment like that yesterday from JD. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. That's true. That's what I try to do. Uh, welcome to my uh, living room, sunroom here, and uh, just my home. Welcome into my house, right? So uh, anyway, we're going to look at the... Um, <coughs> the uh, what are we going to do? We can look at the Elliott Wave perspective uh, on the uh, the charts. That's what I do. I am an Elliott Wave trader. I trade on the I trade crypto and I trade on the foreign exchange. So uh, yeah, I'm here to help you understand Elliott Wave and uh, look at the market that way every day, uh, or every time I bring a video. At least uh, try to, trying to bring them every day this week, especially. So uh, that being said, not financial advice. Never intended to be that. Just showing you how I look at the market uh, and how I spend my money. But I'd never tell you how to spend yours. All right. So let's jump into the market. We're looking at Ethereum, guys. Called a triangle yesterday. Let's zoom out and just kind of see it. It's gonna be. This is gonna turn into some garbledy gook here. So uh, just uh, pay, don't pay attention to that too much. Let's go to the hourly chart. We talked less yesterday. Uh, very, uh, very. Um, you know, in, in a lesson about uh, triangles. And sure enough, we got the breakout. We're getting the retest right now. I think we got one more leg down. Uh, that's gonna come on down here to this trend line, most likely in the RSI. So if I had to guess here and. and uh, I think it's going to come down like that and then head on up. All right. <clears throat> so, and then we're going to get the rest of the wave uh, on the way up. We're going to get a big wave here coming pretty soon, I believe. Uh, I'm going to show you the micro count here in just a second. So, anyway, what we would expect here, just from a macro standpoint, let me go up a little bit uh, higher. I know that's garbly gook. Yeah, I know. We're looking, this is a fourth wave. Okay, this is a fourth wave. And so, Basically, we're looking for five more uh, of five more waves here. And so because of the, the nature of this wave is kind of small, one, two, three, four, five, looking for something like that. And that'll give us a one, two, three, four, and an extended fifth, something like that. So that's what I'm expecting. Gonna, uh, guys, we're going to be pushing $500 here pretty soon. So uh, if you're short, um, I don't know. It's, for me, that's not the play right now. So um, let's talk about uh, the micro counts. So let's go back into the small time frame here. Get that on the chart for you. I'm going to get rid of the RSI so we can see better. All right, let's just talk about this count that I have on the chart here. This is the way I'm seeing it right now. Uh, the very first, uh, the very first wave down here, and I and I said yesterday, guys, we get up to the 460 range. Uh, and man, it, it went extended, man, 466.83, almost 467. I would expect it quite that high, but you know that's what that's um, that's crypto for you, right? Um, anyway, we got a um, what looks to me a uh, leading diagonal to the downside. That's five waves right there. Boom, 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 boom. Where the four wave overlaps the one wave. It looks like a nice wedge. I, I like it. Um, so that's the way I'm interpreting it. Then we got a flat right here. I've identified right there with that red, with that red line. We got a nice and, and a flat is made up of a three, a three, and a five wave move. Okay. So we got this impulse here. And this five wave move kind of messes people up right because it, it seems like oh we're going up now but but it's actually, actually the ending move of a flat which means we're going to get more downside we should expect this low to be broken okay so uh then uh what i'm identifying here uh, is a we got a little three wave move down like that and now we're getting a, another flat right here and i'm expecting this to come and kind of come up in this range maybe it might be done now but then I'm expecting another move to the downside. And that's going to give us our a, a, a three-wave move down as well. And when you get a, um, where it's going to begin a five-wave move, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. And so, yeah, actually, guys, that, that's not quite technical. This has to be a three-wave move if I'm going to call that a three-wave move. That would be a WXY. The only way this could be a, uh, a five and a three, this would have to be a five-wave. And it doesn't look like it's shaping up to be a five-wave. But could be wrong here so this might be some kind of impulse wave right here actually um yeah, yeah there we go getting a little bit of a move right now so uh yeah that looks good so anyway if we even if we break this high a little bit i'm expecting a reversal uh down so anyway that's what i'm expecting that's what i'm watching as a trader so i'm just sharing sharing with you what i'm watching uh and the count that i'm watching i'm looking for a wxy three wave move back down to retest you, you notice how the one-to-one -one extension uh, is retesting all of the top of this and the top of that. So that's where the one-to-one -one is. The 127 extension is retesting this trend line here in this ballpark, okay? And the 1618, that as well. So we, we would expect this wave to get probably on down here. I mean, we're going to look at 455, but we're going to watch 452 as well and see what happens. We might get a pretty deep wave, uh, which which would make people think that it's, uh, make people think that it's, you know, going 
going down and then all of a sudden uh, we're going to get our move to the upside okay so looking for a move to the upside how big should we expect that to be glad you asked um, let's uh, measure that see if i can give you a, 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 a projection from the bottom of one top of five back down to uh, i'm going to say right about there to be okay whoa that's going to be big guys going to be big so we got one two okay looking for three up here four and five guys uh, we're getting up above five hundred dollars guys we could even get up here to 521 Ooh, that would be huge that would be mammoth okay so that's what i'm looking at guys we're looking at targets up here above 500 dollars, at least 494 for the third wave but guys that third wave could get up here to 521 so uh guys the market is prepping for a potential big move that's the way i'm seeing it right now uh, the invalidation point would be a move of the market down below here, okay? So my invalidation is below this wave right here, the bottom of that wave. What is that? What? 441? So if we get back down from here to 441, this count is invalidated. And we got to know that because uh, all we're doing is trying to interpret the waves. And uh, we got to know when that counts are invalidated so we can trade properly, okay? That's what I'm looking at, guys. There is... Uh, the outlook on Ethereum, guys. I'm not going to take uh, much time here on BTC. I will just take a peek at it here. Uh, looks like uh, looks like a couple of ways to draw this triangle. In the RSI, we've already broken out of the triangle, uh, but we didn't have one. A, B, C. Yeah, we didn't even have a triangle in the RSI. We didn't have a, a full five waves. <coughs> Excuse me. So what is possible here is that uh, we are actually getting uh, just a WXY like I was talking about here through... Oh, sorry. Let me get rid of that there. We could be. I, I, I'm not sure, guys. A, uh, B, C, D, E, and then we go up. Okay, that's possible. All right. Or uh, or this is a W, X, and now we're getting a Y. We need a, a push down here. Okay, back down to this region, and then, and then up we go. So we'll see what we get, guys. But that's the way I'm looking at that as well. Got targets, guys. are still targeting 17.6. Still targeting 17.6. Let's see what the micro count would give us um, here. If I just measure this wave right here. Boom. Come on, come on. Yeah, that would be all right, I suppose. Ooh, this is giving us a much higher. Oh, no, it's not. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is actually 17.1 to 17.6. Yeah, still a beautiful target here. Uh, sorry, I got confused a little bit there. Yep, right here. 17.1 to 17.6. Those two fibs right there is what we'd be watching for. All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Just want to give you a quick update. There you go. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, guys, and share the content. Nobody gives you micro counts like this on a daily basis and teaches you Elliott Wave for free. If you want to be part of a Discord, uh, I've got a, uh, um, I've got a uh, description... In the description below, you'll find a, a link to Patreon. Become a Patreon supporter. Uh, and uh, this month, guys, uh, you get grandfathered in to all future price increases, uh, which they are coming because, man, the Discord is an awesome place. It's rocking. So, uh, anyway, it's going to get only better from here. I'm going full time, uh, hopefully, in December, January time frame. And so, uh, anyway, that being said, uh, it's it's uh, going to be a great place and you're going to want to be a part of it. So, if you want to get part of that, jump in in November. You'll get grandfathered in. And, uh, and all price increases. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.